Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. There are obviously big differences between men and women. What? That is a controversial statement to say in 2023, but I'm stunning and brave and I'm going to tell you all that there are differences between men and women. And now people on social media are claiming that they have found a new way that the sexes are different due to the way that we eat. And that is why girl dinners have blown up. But I actually do not think that this is totally resigned just to women. So we're gonna talk about that today. Before we do though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. You can click the links below to check out my merch and make sure you ring the notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. All right, so back in May, a video went viral from a creator named Livy Mayer, I think I'm saying her name right, where she showed people her favorite thing to eat for dinner and it all just blew up from there. So let's watch her original video. It has millions and millions of views. I cannot find the TikTok right now, but a girl just came on here and said how like in medieval times, peasants had to eat nothing but bread and cheese and how awful that was. And she was like, that's my ideal meal. This is my dinner. I call this girl dinner or medieval peasant. That's literally it. It's 15 seconds. She shows her dinner. She is drinking wine. She has pickles and she has grapes and she has bread and cheese. And that is her medieval peasant girl dinner. 15 seconds. And it basically started a revolution on TikTok. It started a huge trend and everyone loved it because let's be totally real. That is a great fun meal. Everybody loves charcuterie boards. Charcuterie boards are the big thing, but sometimes you can't go out to Whole Foods and spend $300 on fancy cheeses. So you go into your fridge, you get your, you know, week old block of cheddar and some Ritz crackers, some ham, maybe some pickles, and it still gives you the same feeling. It's very fun. Everybody loves snacking after a long day. So obviously this blew up. It also cracks me up that this is a girl thing because I feel like men also love this. Like I was talking to my team and I have two guys in here. They were like, yeah, like I had that last night. I love cheese and crackers. This is so much fun. Like there's that guy on TikTok. His name is Nate. He's a bodybuilder. He's in the army and his favorite meal, like part of his brand is that he loves eating Cheez-Its and peanut butter. And he says that that is just a normal meal for him. Like this dude gets it. Anyway, somebody commented and said, this is literal luxury. I love it so much. Somebody else said, I call it grazing. That is what my mom called it growing up. Like we would go to the fridge and we would just graze. We would put out a little spread. We would meander around the kitchen, eat some grapes, eat some berries, you know, have a little slice of prosciutto. It was grazing. Somebody else said, I call this Les Miserables munchies. <laughs> but obviously this quickly grew. It became a trend and it grew beyond people just eating bread and cheese and the trend was people showing off their girl dinners but it just got more and more crazy and more extreme here's one example this one is relatively normal i would say before i moved in with my boyfriend i used to have pickle dinner it was just a bunch of different types of pickles i miss pickle dinner girl you don't gotta miss pickle dinner i have the best spot and we are going tonight pickles secured if you haven't guessed it by now it's Kaylin and Kaylin Pickles, and these things are so good. If you're in LA, you can go to their farmer's market location and you can get a tasting flight of pickles. Mm. So I'm gonna pair my pickles tonight with a baguette and butter and a mini cheesecake for the absolute perfect girly dinner. I would totally eat that. After a long day, if I had pickles, if I had a mini cheesecake, guys, I love cheesecake. I would absolutely eat that. There are a few things that are better than warm bread, butter, and a little bit of a topic. Last night, I had warm sourdough and butter, and then I put pimento cheese on it. That was fantastic. I also had a steak later on, but like that was my appetizer. And you know what? I would have been totally fine just eating that for dinner. Like that pleases me greatly. Here's another one. It's much more like a parody. She puts sound effects and everything. This is my meal. I call this girl dinner. <laughs> Day old Chipotle heated up in the microwave, carrots in a dip. I don't condone eating carrots with peanut butter. Threw up in my mouth a little bit. Weirds me out, but we've all eaten that. Like that's not crazy. This is not some new thing. So it's interesting that this blew up into a trend because this is literally what you eat after a long day if you've not gone grocery shopping and you don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on a meal because that is what it costs in Joe Biden's economy. We got Joe Biden to thank for this. Obviously, it made its way to Twitter too. Somebody said, girl, dinner, one piece of chocolate cake, an ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of cheese. I forget what this is from. 
it's a joke. You guys get it. There was also another one that I loved, but the creator deleted it. But she said, everybody's talking about girl dinner. Nobody's talking about girl breakfast. And it was just an iced coffee. And that was me. I have to admit. Grande chai tea latte, three pumps, skim milk, light water, 2% foam, extra hot, but not too hot. That was me until I learned that that is like the worst possible thing that you could ever do for your hormones. Women, do not drink coffee on an empty stomach. You will screw up your nervous system. You will screw up your hormones. I have been much better off without it. But that is what I would drink for breakfast because that is a girl breakfast. Now, I think we all can understand because we are level-headed people, we have common sense, that this is a trend on social media. It is a joke. There are girls posting videos of themselves drinking a Diet Coke or pulling out a cup of ice and saying that that is their dinner. Well, I'm on this new diet. It's very effective. Well, I don't eat anything. And when I feel like I'm about to faint, I eat a cube of cheese. We know that that is not real. That is not happening every single night. But like I said earlier, who doesn't love the occasional dinner of bread and cheese, of a little, you know, grazed refrigerator charcuterie board? We all have done it. That's not some crazy thing. Is it the healthiest? No, but sometimes that is just what we have to do. Obviously, we all know these are not examples of balanced meals, but they're still fun. And if you want to balance it, you could use balance of nature because living a healthy lifestyle can be challenging when you're always on the go, you're busy and you're having to eat girl dinners every single night. You need simple, manageable routines to make sure that you are getting proper nutrition every single day, which is why I'm a huge fan of Balance of Nature. Balance of Nature fruits and veggies are a great way to make sure that you are getting essential nutritional ingredients every single day. Through Balance of Nature's advanced cold vacuum process, the vitamins and minerals and phytonutrients of the fruits and vegetables are preserved so that you can get that vital nutrition in each capsule. They are a whole food supplement with no additives, no fillers, no extracts, no synthetics, pesticides, or added sugar. Literally the only thing in their capsules is pure fruits and vegetables. Here at Daily Wire, we are huge fans of Balance of Nature. They have sent their products to us every single month. We have them all around the offices for our employees to use. We all love them. We're so grateful for them. So join us and make fruits and vegetables a part of your daily diet. Your body will thank you. For a limited time this summer, when you become a preferred customer at Balance of Nature, they are throwing in a free fruits and veggies travel set and giving you an additional $25 off your first order. So if you want to redeem this offer, go to balanceofnature.com. Use promo code Cooper for a free travel set and $25 off your first order as a preferred customer. Again, that is balanceofnature.com, promo code Cooper. And that should make you feel a lot better about indulging in those cheese and cracker dinners. Anyway, people on the internet decided to take this really seriously and turn it into some kind of gender and socio-political issue like this girl. And I'm warning you in advance, this literally makes no sense. We have to talk about girl dinner and how it relates to the oppression of straight married women. No, we don't. We literally don't. You did not need to make this video. Not every trend needs to become the oppression of women. It's just so stupid. Anyway. This is my meal. I call this girl dinner. Girl, girl dinner. dinner. This is girl dinner, girl dinner, girl dinner. Here's why this matters. When women marry men, they gain about seven hours of additional daily work. First of all, we have to stop. I'm gonna mention this later. In the article, you can see it's an extra seven hours of housework a week. She says it's daily work. Women do not gain seven hours of work a day. That would literally be insane. That makes no sense. It's like an hour of work a day. So women who marry men gain seven hours. Men lose an hour of daily work. So if the difference for men is very small, but the difference for women is very big, why? Girl dinner. Maybe it's because you get married and if you are in a traditional family where your husband is providing or trying to provide, then you cleaning up around the house, maybe having dinner on the table when he gets home, allows him to be able to stay the extra hour at work, work a little longer, come home and not have to do as much housework because he just made more money for you because he's putting in the extra time to get a promotion to be able to provide for your family. You gain an hour, he loses an hour, but you're still balancing it out. The, the reason why is not girl dinner. Okay, she goes on. Single men and single women might both be eating girl dinner, but when women marry, they turn into wives and wives have different expectations than husbands. Another consideration is that men who live at home with women who direct them or who do most of the housework, give them lists, end up having lower standards when they move out on their own. They're fine with the stuff left on the ground or the tidying. And so the women who have higher expectations placed on them end up picking up the slack. She's kind of talking about this as if it's a bad thing where I see all of this like, oh, you know, women, you know, understand the inner workings of the home. That's a cool thing. Is that supposed to be a bad thing? That that is what women are 
you know, kind of supposed to do. I'm not saying that you have to do that. I'm not saying that you can't go have a career, but it's kind of cool that that is what we are inclined to do. I love cleaning the house, like doing a fast clean on a Saturday, just listening to some music. That's great. I love it. Does that make me a woman? Absolutely, I guess. I don't know. Like that does not necessarily need to be a bad thing. Anyway, she keeps going. I'm talking broad strokes here, but there is data that suggests that the way that boys are raised and girls are raised within the home and how they take responsibility for tasks ends up bleeding into adulthood. Boys age 15 to 17 have an hour more leisure time compared to girls. Girls are raised with the knowledge that when they become wives, all of the social expectations of being a wife will fall on them. And so they internalize the need to learn those things. Men yes. are not judged the same way that women are when they don't keep a pleasant space. Just saying she thinks that, you know, there are different expectations for men about keeping a pleasant space. I don't know about you guys, but as a woman, that is an expectation. Like, I do expect that a man keeps his house clean and has basic hygiene and understands how to cook something other than a hot pocket. Like, that is not some societal issue. I think that's just like... In the modern era, I would prefer a man to know how to do something more than cook a hot pocket. I hate cooking, but I fell into this trap and I tried to learn how I tried to like it when I became a wife. I feed my kids good food, but I'm a girl dinner girl. I'm a girl dinner wife. And that's okay. Eating pickles and chips for dinner doesn't make me a bad wife. What was the point of that? So we spent two and a half minutes of her talking broad strokes about how men and women are raised differently and how this is all tied to the oppression of women and she needs to feel redeemed because she is a girl dinner wife and she doesn't want to cook dinner and she wants to eat her chips and pickles and she's gonna be happy about it. Okay, what did that mean? Girls are raised to be efficient and care for others while boys are you know, apparently raised to be lazy slobs. So that's why we have to eat girl dinners or that's why we want to eat girl. Like, wouldn't it be the other way around that the lazy men are just sitting around eating girl dinners? Maybe that's the point that she's trying to make that she actually, j I don't, I don't understand. And it's not an important talking point. Not everything needs to become some conversation about the oppression of some person in society. It's a joke on social media. I think you're just upset because traditionally, women work in the home and cook for their husbands and are usually quite happy doing so if they are in a good relationship. Somebody said, my guy wants us to get married and every day I see more and more reasons for me not to get married. Because you have to tidy a house? You're gonna do that anyway. Somebody said, every video of yours solidifies my active decision to stay single. Like, newsflash people, if you love somebody and you are in the right relationship with a person who appreciates it, it is an honor to care for them and cook for them. That is not oppression. That is a sign of love. And sometimes you can eat your cheese and cracker dinners together and it is very fun. It's not that big of a deal. Another person said, this is my dinner and I'm an unmarried woman, but that's just because I have disordered eating. Now, this is the one part of the girl dinner critique that I can actually get behind because it does hold some weight. Dietitians online are worried about people taking this trend seriously, which again, it's a trend. It's a joke, guys. But we're gonna talk about it. Gen Z's disturbing new girl dinner trend has experts sounding the alarm. Here's how the girl dinner trend went from relatable to a potential cause for concern. So basically what they're saying is that these girl dinner videos are not examples of good balanced healthy meals. I, I think I'm just in shock. But did any of us actually think that these were good balanced healthy meals? No, because we have common sense, but you know, to their point, yes, snacking is fun. Sometimes we just have to grab and go because we are very busy, but we all do have to acknowledge, and I wanna make sure I'm acknowledging this, so I'm not leading anybody down the wrong path of just eating crackers and cheese for the rest of their lives, is that most of this is not healthy. It's not sustainable. And a lot of girl dinners that were going around were filled with processed crap that obviously have no nutritional value, that they are not good for you. And I'm saying this as somebody who has dealt with a binge eating disorder and hated cooking until last year. And like throughout college, I would just not eat because I was quote, too busy. And to be honest, I still deal with that. And my friends call me on it. I am not a stress eater. I am a stress starver, which maybe is better than just eating an entire bag of cookies, but still it's not good for you. I don't recommend it. Like, I don't care if you feel skinny when you're doing that. It is so unhealthy especially for women. Those habits wreck your hormones, just like drinking coffee on an empty stomach. So you need protein, you need good calories. This was actually referenced in the New York Post article that I mentioned two seconds ago. Women and teen girls require a balance of all three macronutrients consisting of quality protein, complex carbs, and a healthy fat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The female body is incredible and needs loads of energy, nutrients, vitamins, and minerals from whole foods to be able to produce hormones, have good brain function, mental clarity, and a zest for life. So the problem here is not with girl dinner or snacking or charcuterie boards 
words, it's with the things that you might be using to create that girl dinner on a regular basis. Protein people, we need protein. Add a steak into that and then eat your cheese and crackers on the side. I don't care. But still, everything in moderation. You will not see me do a full stop on my girl dinners anytime soon. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the comment section and that you maybe even learned something new. If you have not already, like this video, subscribe to this channel, and of course, ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section episode.